Here are some of the world's most advanced military weapons. Number 10, Tsunami Generator. When we think of weapons and destruction, we think of things that go boom or shoot bullets or take down aircraft or disable enemy troops. But what about a weapon that can take out a city with a tidal wave? Tsunamis are extremely dangerous and powerful by just harnessing the energy of monster waves. Russia is developing a super torpedo that's capable of generating 300-foot monster tidal waves to threaten major coastal cities. Called the Poseidon, this 80-foot nuclear-powered submersible robot would detonate offshore from a major city and destroy that city with a tsunami. The top secret project, codenamed Status 6 by Russia and Canyon by NATO, was for years the subject of rumor and skepticism. But by 2016, Pentagon reports confirmed the torpedo's existence, and in March 2018, Russia publicly unveiled a 3D animated video showing Poseidon attacking a city and a carrier task force. Real life footage of a Poseidon being launched was released as well. To carry the Poseidon Tsunami Torpedo, Russia has built an experimental diesel-electric hybrid submarine with a small nuclear reactor on board to charge its batteries. Does that mean it can stay submerged for years at a time? Number 9. Unmanned Tanks Unmanned vehicles are getting more attention in militaries all around the world. One day, soldiers probably won't ever need to go outside. For years now, we've seen the success of what's officially called unmanned aerial vehicles. These are drones that can fly anywhere in the world while the pilot remains safe in a flight center someplace far away. This technology has now been applied to armored vehicles. The Black Knight unmanned combat vehicle is a 9.5 ton prototype that was first tested all the way back in 2007. Based on the Bradley Fighting Vehicle frame, it maneuvered well in exercises alongside the Bradley Fighting Vehicle, getting into position and collecting reconnaissance, then reporting back to the base vehicle. This type of breakthrough vehicle allowed for the collection of valuable information without placing soldiers in vulnerable positions. Fast forward to 2020, and the world still doesn't use unmanned tanks, but instead, there are now several more options. For example, there's the Ripsaw M5 robotic combat vehicle that's lightweight enough for all kinds of conditions. However, it seems like unmanned vehicles are still a long ways off. Why? What's the holdup? Humans are still far better than their robotic counterparts at performing even the most basic functions, such as navigating around obstacles or interpreting the surrounding environment. Apparently, flying in the air is much easier than navigating on the ground. Number 8. High Mems Can you imagine robot insects controlled by humans? The Hybrid Insect Microelectromechanical System, or High Mems, is exactly just that. It's also known as the Cybug Program. It's a developing technology that's trying to be able to control insects by integrating them with chips and circuitry. This technology would provide a big edge in spying, of course. Imagine a cybug flying into a combat zone and getting arm's length from a target, transmitting images and data back to the base. The operation is focused on integrating a chip into insect larvae. This technology takes advantage of the natural biological processes of transformation and rapid healing. Basically, the system would be integrated holistically into the organism, making it a true cyborg and not just an insect with a camera glued to its back. Theoretically, when the larva undergoes metamorphosis, the chip would integrate into its nervous system in such a manner that signals can be transmitted to the circuit and the insect's behavior could be controlled. Obviously, this isn't in use now, but this is something that most likely can happen one day in the future. If this integration can happen in insects, what else is possible? Sounds unbelievable? Too weird to be true? Well, researchers at Cornell University demonstrated the successful implementation of electronic probes into tobacco hornworms in the pupil stage. The system can be used for surveillance of enemy interests or even used by governments in order to monitor their own citizens. Number 7. 
ADS Underwater Gun. The ADS Amphibious Rifle is like something out of a James Bond flick. It's as simple as it sounds. It's an assault rifle capable of firing underwater. It's a relatively new addition to the Russian military arsenal, as they've had it in service since 2013. Previously, Russian naval commandos had to rely on the one rifle in the water and the traditional Kalashnikov on land. Now with the ADS amphibious rifle, they can just use one weapon for both scenarios. The underwater rifle comes equipped with a 40mm grenade launcher, which has a range of 400 meters. Oh, okay, grenade launching underwater too, because why not? ADS has a firing rate of 700 rounds per minute with a range on land of 500 meters. The weapon's effective underwater firing range depends on the depth. For example, the range is 25 meters at a depth of 5 meters and 18 meters at a depth of 20 meters. And soldiers have to use a specially designed cartridge. Number 6. Exacto. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, developed a self-steering guided bullet. It's designed for snipers in order to support long-distance accuracy under unfavorable conditions. Yeah, sniping is a tough job. The Extreme Accuracy Task Ordnance, or Exacto, is like a tiny smart missile. It's essentially a smart bullet. This ammo can zero in on targets and even alter its course in mid-flight to compensate for target movement or changes in wind speed. This is a high-tech bullet that can find the target and adjust after leaving the barrel of the rifle. This means that even someone like you or me can have pinpoint accuracy. So how does it work? Exacto contains a photodioid in the tip of each bullet to track a laser beam. It also has small fins on the bullet to help steer them through the air. The craziest part? It's fired from a special smooth rifle barrel. So that means the bullet doesn't spin in flight. It uses real-time optical guidance, just like smart bombs. The system tracks targets and guides the bullet in flight, ensuring high accuracy regardless of weather or target movement. DARPA's performance tests of Exacto demonstrated how the bullet not only followed moving targets, but managed to track and hit accelerating targets. Number 5. Phaser We can't not have the phaser in this video because of how viral it got on the internet back in the day. The name and appearance of Phaser, or the Personal Halting and Stimulation Response Rifle, looks like it came out of a Hollywood movie that's designed to disintegrate aliens. However, despite its looks, it's a non-lethal device designed to temporarily disorient and blind intended targets. The Phaser Rifle is a prototype non-lethal laser dazzler developed by the U.S. Department of Defense. It was developed at Kirtland Air Force Base as part of the Air Force Research Laboratory Directed Energy Directorate in New Mexico. This rifle doesn't fire bullets or disintegrate enemy combatants. Instead, it fires a low-intensity laser. The phaser incorporates two low-power diode lasers, one visible and one infrared. So why does the government officially call it a dazzler? Well, the laser light temporarily distracts or dazzles the target person without blinding them. Number 4. Laser Weapon System No list of high-tech, super-sophisticated military weapons would be complete without a high-powered laser ray cannon, right? The Boeing Laser Avenger is an infrared laser system designed to be mounted to a Humvee. The laser is equipped with 10 kilowatts of power to shoot down drones in mid-flight. Lasers operate on line of sight, and of course, the challenge is to find the object and get it into the line of sight for the extremely straight and narrow beam. In order to accomplish this incredibly difficult feat, Boeing had to create a complex tracking system that could detect and track a very small drone moving at low or mid altitude. Basically, the laser burns right through any drone it targets. Unlike anti-aircraft systems, the laser has no muzzle flare and produces no smoke. This means it can be fired from concealed locations and would be extremely difficult to detect, adding another layer of protection for any troops using it. Number 3. Hypersonic Missiles Hypersonic. That means faster than the speed of sound. Hypersonic missiles can fly faster than the speed of sound. 
This is a major new area in the global arms race. China, Russia, and the US are all working on their hypersonic missile systems. The incredible speeds these missiles can reach, together with the altitude at which they fly, make them much harder to detect. At a speed of Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound, a hypersonic weapon is flying at least a mile per second. Since the 90s, the American Air Force Research Laboratory has been exploring and testing hypersonic propulsion systems. The result is the Boeing X-51 Wave Rider, capable of flying at 3,300 miles per hour. It's still in testing, but the X-51 has shown plenty of promise. Hypersonic weapons are one of the most prolific threats in the ever-evolving landscape of sophisticated military weapons. If they're going to be hypersonic missiles, then there needs to be a defense against hypersonic weapons. Raytheon Missiles and Defense is working with the U.S. government and private industry to develop approaches for detecting, tracking, and defending against modern hypersonic weapons. Number 2. Anti-Drone Guns Anti-Drone Guns are all the rage these days because drones are flying all around us. Drone Shield's Drone Gun is a straightforward anti-drone gun. It's basically a plug-and-play rifle-style weapon that can be operated by one person, and it's effective against a wide range of drones. However, contrary to popular belief, these anti-drone guns don't destroy the drones. Instead, these sophisticated weapons preserve drones. The Drone Gun Jammer causes a drone to either perform a vertical controlled landing or return to its starting point. Why wouldn't someone just destroy the drone? Well, it would definitely help in an investigation to identify the government or individuals associated with the drone. The jammer technology also stops any video transmission by the drone. In 2019, Drone Shield released a single hand model, the Drone Gun MK3. This single handheld pistol style device delivers the same frequency jamming pulse of electromagnetic noise to disrupt a drone's RF signal. It also terminates its video transmission and sends the drone into safe recovery mode. Number 1. Zumwalt Class Stealth Destroyers The latest arrival to the naval fleet looks like it was created in Minecraft. But even though it looks like a crazy toy submarine, the Zumwalt Class Stealth Destroyer is a breakthrough battleship with sophisticated stealth technology. The low radar cross section and a wave piercing hull combined with a range of other top secret technologies make this destroyer almost undetectable by enemy radar. Needless to say, there's a bunch of other state of the art technology on this ship that would take hours to get into. The research and development for the ship cost a total of $9.6 billion. The ship finally was delivered this year after almost 15 years of development. Here's what's next. 